All right, so we're going to talk today about uh, the hardest button to button by the White Stripes. Uh, it's all power chords. It's pretty simple. Uh, so we're going to get right to it. Uh, we're going to start with our first finger on the sixth string, fifth fret. And then we're going to use two fingers. We're going to use the ring finger on the seventh fret, fifth string, and the seventh fret, fourth string. And then when you play a power chord, generally anytime you play a power chord, you only play the strings that you're pressing down on. So I'm only going to play on the three lowest sounding strings. You can also play a power chord like this using two fingers, where you're pressing down with your ring finger on two strings. It's the same, you're pressing down on the same frets. So use two or three fingers. So here we go. The first fret that you use is the fifth fret, and the picking pattern is sixth string, fourth string, fifth string. So now we're going to take this shape that we're doing and we're going to move it up and down the neck to play all the rest of the chords. So here we go. Fifth fret. Take the whole shape and move it up to the eighth fret and tenth fret. Back down to fifth fret. Back up to eighth fret. Fifth fret one more time. Eighth fret one more time. Now we're going to go to seventh fret once. Same picking pattern. And then tenth fret once. Anytime I'm talking about frets, I'm talking about where your first finger lands. So again, fifth, eighth fret, fifth again, eighth again. Seventh fret, one down from eight, up to ten. That's the main riff of the song. You do the same thing even when it gets loud. You just don't pick anymore, you just strum. is that uh, when you're singing the hardest button to button, you go seven, six, five. It's the only change in the whole song. The, almost the entire song is that pattern. Five to eight, five to eight, five to eight, seven to ten. Now, that was really fast. Go back to the beginning. And every time you, you get to a part that you're not sure of, pause, figure it out, and hit play again. Or rewind again. Don't just watch the whole video and then stop, because it's going by too fast for you. You need to go back. That's what the pause button is for. So, happy playing. Right, we're going to do a slow play along of the first couple of verses, just so you can get the feel, but it's not as fast as the recording. So, here we go. This is our beat. If even that is too fast, 
You want to do the parts slow enough, hopefully with a metronome, until you can play them at speed with this, then try the recording.